Rick Hodgkins and I'm the uh, resident inspector out here on the project. I do special inspection for concrete, uh, reinforcing steel, and um, basically anything else that comes up out here. Right now we're headed down to the bottom of what they call the train box. And this is where the uh, trains will come into the bottom of the station here. We're on our way down to uh, see them place some concrete give you an idea as to what the concrete is going into and this is basically the bottom of the excavation here okay so what you see going on in the background is uh, concrete that's being pumped down from up above on a trestle and then down through these two hoses and it's going into this mat the mat is approximately five foot thick and you see all this rebar for reinforcement and that of the mat. It'll take approximately 12 hours to complete the placement of all this concrete. Uh, they'll be placing approximately 4,100 cubic yards of concrete. This is the 14th out of a total of 16 concrete pours and that that are going to take place in order to put the bottom of this train box in here. There will be two more levels above this and that that will accommodate buses that will come into uh, this uh, station here. The bottom of the mat it is approximately 60 feet below street level. Uh, they came in and excavated this area out and they put in a, about a foot of concrete over the top of the soil that was here. And now we're in the process of putting this mat down and the construction will continue up to street level. Each of the concrete trucks and that that comes in is carrying about nine yards of concrete, so we're looking at about 400 truckloads of concrete in order to complete this concrete pour. What you see here is the foundation and that that everything else will be built on. My name is Bill Bellum. I'm ISI's Director of Health and Safety. My responsibilities include managing the health and safety program and providing our employees with training. I also make site visits to all of ISI's projects. During these site visits, I provide additional training to our employees and I work alongside with our clients and the contractor and subcontractor safety professionals to ensure that our employees are provided with a safe work environment. So this is the sampling area for the concrete and as per the specifications, we sample the concrete every 100 cubic yards. It's part of the quality control of the job site. Uh, we do four tests out here. We do air, unit weight, slump, and temperature. And after the cylinders harden, we take them back to the laboratory and do a compression test. We do a compression test to see the uh, PSI of the concrete. And after that is known, then they can put another load onto that particular part of the job.